Hi, I'm Deke. Welcome to DeekePod, my series of once every other weekly videos on computer graphics and digital imaging. This is my chance to have a creative love fest with you, without someone interrupting us saying, why do you keep saying every other weekly? The word is bi-weekly. To which I say, thank you, Mr. Thesaurus. Are you sure you don't mean semi-monthly, jerk? Today's episode is Firegraphs on Steroids, in which we'll take half an ellipse and turn it into something truly extraordinary in Adobe Illustrator. Trust me on this one. Artist, non-artist, proficient with Illustrator, never even heard of the program. I don't care if you live in Antarctica, you have no access to electricity, you haven't seen sunlight in 45 days. Oh my God, what are you, a penguin? You're gonna wanna watch this. The Trigonometry of OpArt. You remember this firograph? You put a pen in a hole, move the plastic gear inside the ring, swirls around and makes instant artistic genius. One continuous line that keeps circling around on itself to create a multi-looping hypotricoid. Deal with it. It's really called a hypotricoid. Do you realize the trigonometry required to calculate a hypotricoid? Oh wait, that's right. You can't even spell hypotricoid. And yet, here's the humble spirograph. Three ounces of plastic kicks your ass. Spirograph, it's only 40 years old, younger than me, and yet it's archaic. One hole, one gear, one ring gives you one shape. You can't preview it before you make it. You can't adjust it after the fact. You're probably thinking it's a toy for God's sake. What next, you gonna take a dump on life, right? No, no, there are better ways, that's all. You don't need the holes, gears, rings. You can preview the shapes. You can edit them all you want. I'm talking vector-based hypotricoids without any of this in Illustrator. The power of live effects. Okay, here's how it works. Draw a circle, maybe give it a dark red outline. That's it, drawing done. But see, brace yourself, we're going all the way on this one. Now choose this top secret command here. It's a live effect, doesn't change the shape, just its appearance. Click here to see what you're doing. Make the circle narrower, so it's tall and thin. That'll be our base shape. Now for the spirograph effect. Choose this second command. Repeats the last effect, but lets you change the settings. See this alert? Click apply new effect. Reset the horizontal value. Change rotate to 10, turn on preview. Now watch this. I go to copies and nudge it up. Thanks to preview, I can see exactly what I'm doing. 17's a winner. That white fill doesn't look right, so let's make it transparent. Voila! Or better yet, let's dial in, say, a yellow. Go to the appearance palette and set just the fill to multiply. Eat my dust, Firograph! Oh, that was cool. You're a classic, but you're just not keeping up here. Ever-changeable phantoms. If computers have taught me anything, it's that it's easiest to edit what was never there in the first place. Insofar as Illustrator is concerned, this is still a circle. This is all happening on the fly, numerically. Yes, it's math. Beautiful, mouth-wateringly sexy math. To change the numbers, go to the Appearance palette. Double-click here. Tweak the scale values. Look at this. This is 56 copies. To make it slant the other way, make the angle negative. Who knows why, but it works. It's like a tilto spirograph. Oh my god, math. How do you do that to me? Oh. Cool technique or Spira scam? I just know someplace some spirograph geek is going, that's not a hypotricoid, that's a rotated ellipse. A spirograph draws one continuous line. Fine, I'm a poser, you're a penguin. But even so, for you purists, I offer the following. The better unbroken hypotricoid. Clean slate. This time we'll draw a skinny ellipse. Really skinny, no film. Delete the right half, we don't need it. Choose this command again, just one copy, preview on, reflect it, and to align it properly, click here. I'll take the angle value up to 20. Now we've got the first pass of a spirograph. At this point, it's worth zooming in. See, things aren't lined up right. To fix it, go to appearance and double click here. Turn on preview and adjust these values slightly. Better, much better. Now to continue the line. Again, choose transform, apply new effect, preview on, set the center point, rotate 10 degrees, don't reflect. Take this up, 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 35 copies, goodbye. Sadly, the lines aren't joining up. See this first guy on top here? Double click. Stretch the first rotated line, the one we reflected, to match the height of the others. Totally trial and error. Don't be frightened. You're not a chicken, we've established that. I'll add one more dose of transform to recenter the spirograph shape on a page. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our continuous hypotricoid. Spirograph anything. It's possible you don't appreciate how mind-bogglingly awesome this is. I'm gonna give it that same fill as before. Yellow, multiply, stroke, make it brown, multiply it too. I wanna kiss myself. Now because this is a live effect, I can save it and use it again. Go to this palette and make a new graphic style. It saves all that stuff. Fill, stroke, transforms, everything. Now we have a spirograph effect that we can apply to anything we want. So turn off this layer, make a new one. Get the pencil, just draw a little wiggle, a fragile Jean Miro doodle. 
Now click on that style you made. Just like that, Illustrator repeats everything you applied before. I mean, that's potentially fractal. Spirograph, our time together, it was special. You taught me to dream. You must understand. Think of what you yourself did to Hungry Hungry Hippo. I need to move on. Conclusion. Granted, it's not really fair to compare an $8 toy to a piece of software that costs as much as a refrigerator. But what do you want? You want to eat or you want to art? This becomes this, this becomes this. Combine the two and you get this. It all hinges on the transform command and two palettes. Three little features. Your options are endless and we've seen just the tiniest fraction of the software. Don't be scared. Be inspired. I am here for you. Now if you like that, oh, it's so much deeper than I showed you. If you want more, I got more. Go to lynda.com slash deke and check out my intensive video series, Illustrator One on One. For those of you who like to snuggle up with a good tutorial guide, we're working on an Illustrator book, as you'll learn at deke.oreilly.com. Or just swing by deke.com. C-A-Y-A-M-L-M-P-B-Y-O-B. What do those mean? My site tells you. Until next time, stay tuned for more videos. I have so many more mind-spinning tips to add to your dizzying array of options here at DeekPod.